Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the advanced controls for re-EQ in Reaper. As you probably know, re-EQ is the EQ that comes with Reaper, and it's very powerful. But there's some advanced controls or how you control it that you might not know about. So in this video, I want to show them to you. So I have a track in front of me here with a drum loop, and it sounds like this. So let's add an EQ to this track. We'll click right here, which opens up the track effects. Let's go to the Reaper effects and choose Re-EQ. Double click it, and when it opens up, it looks like this. But very recently, they gave us the option of opening it up as big as we want. So if we drag this out like this, we can make it as big as we want. Let's make it a bit smaller, something like this. And from this window, we can add as many bands as we want right here, or remove them right here, all the way down to just one band. We could show the tabs or hide them, show the grid or hide it, even show the phase. So you can see what we're doing to the phase as we change the EQ, like this. Let's hide this for now. Let's check out the band shapes. The first one here is low shelf. So if we boost this frequency here up or we cut it down, it's going to boost or cut from that frequency all the way down, creating a more natural effect as it won't be as peaky. Like this. Or we could change this to high shelf and get the same thing on the top end. If we boost this frequency, it's going to boost from this frequency all the way up, also creating a very natural effect. Or we could choose a band filter, which is more like a parametric EQ where it's just going to boost the frequency we chose and not everything below it or above it. And the same thing if we cut it. But how wide the cut or boost is, is based on the bandwidth. It can be really narrow, Or really wide like this. Then we could choose a low pass filter, which is going to cut all the top end and just pass the low frequencies. Creating a nice filter. Or we could do the opposite a high pass filter, which will pass all the high frequencies while cutting the low ones. Then we could choose an all pass, a notch filter, which just notches certain frequencies. Or a band pass, or a few other band alternatives. But let's put it back to the regular band. So it's just going to boost the frequencies we choose and be as narrow or as broad 
as the bandwidth we set up. Now we could right click right up here and get a bunch of options to choose from. We could add bands, delete bands. Let's first go down here as Reaper just added the ability to have large band handles, which looks like this, which makes it easier to see in my tutorials, but also easier to grab if you're using a touch screen or a tablet, because we could adjust it right from here instead of doing it from down here. So we can boost or cut by going up or down by just grabbing it. Or change the frequencies by going left or right. And we could also adjust the bandwidth right from here. If we hold down shift and grab it, and move left or right, it readjusts that bandwidth. So once again, we could adjust all the controls right from up here and pretty much ignore down here. In fact, we could hide it right there and still adjust our frequencies, our boost and cut, and our bandwidth by holding shift. But we could also right click to add new bands. Let's put one there and one over here. We could delete the bands right from here or here. We could reset the gain back to zero to hear the difference. We could reset all the bands in one shot, right here, back to zero. And we could also flip all the bands right here. So everything that's boosting is now cutting. We'll flip it again. Everything that's cutting will be boosting. Very powerful. We could enable the bands right here or disable them, which you could also do just by double clicking them. Disable it, enable it. And we can also change the band type right from here. But let's get back to the controls. Once again, we could just grab it to boost or cut, go left or right. To change the frequency, we'll hold shift to adjust the bandwidth. But we could also use the mouse wheel. If we put our cursor right there and move the mouse wheel up and down, it also affects the bandwidth. So we can grab up and down, left and right, or we'll use the mouse wheel to adjust the bandwidth. But if we want to fine tuning as we move it, we could hold control on the PC or command on the Mac and move it up and down to fine tune the gain. And notice it doesn't adjust our frequency, just the gain. So you can get more precise as you're readjusting how much you're boosting or cutting. And you could also get more precise with the frequency. Hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and move it left or right. And it's more precise or it moves in smaller increments, making it easier to fine tune our frequency, lower or higher. And we could also fine tune the bandwidth. On the PC, hold on Control and Shift. On the Mac, hold on Command and Shift and move it left or right. And we could readjust the bandwidth in a more fine tuned way. So we can adjust the gain like this the frequency like this, and the bandwidth like this, in a more fine-tuned way. We could also fine-tune the bandwidth by holding control on the PC or command on the Mac and using the mouse wheel, up or down. So we could fine-tune with the mouse wheel 
by holding that modifier, or without it, it'll move in a more coarse way, as opposed to holding down the modifier and it moves in small increments or more fine tuned. And again, we could double click it to disable it or enable it. And if we double click over here or here, it creates a new band EQ. But what if we want to use the other types? We can still do that. If we double click over here, it creates a new low shelving EQ. So we could boost the low frequencies or cut them just by double clicking down over here. We do the same thing over here. Double click and boost the top end with a high shelving EQ or cut it. And we could also create filters. Let's delete these and double click down over here. And that creates a high pass filter. We adjust the bandwidth to adjust how peaky it is and bring it up and down that easily. And do the same by double clicking over here. It'll create a low pass filter. Hold down shift to adjust the bandwidth, move the frequency, and just like that, we create a high pass, a low pass, and any band filters we need. But we could also create a notch filter. If we double click over here, it creates a notch right where we put it. So we can do just about everything right in this window. We don't really need to see our tabs right here. And to delete each band, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just click them, that'll delete any band we create. So again, double click here to create low shelving EQ, double click over here to create high shelving EQ, double click over here to create a high pass filter, and double click over here to create a low pass filter. And we adjust the bandwidth on the fly. Or a notch filter, or a band filter up here. Boost it, cut it, adjust the bandwidth while holding shift, or do fine tune adjustments with control on the PC, command on the Mac for boosting or cutting, alt on the PC, option on the Mac to adjust the frequency with fine tuning up or down, or hold down control on the PC or command on the Mac plus shift and do fine tuning on the bandwidth like this. Or we can use the mouse wheel for the bandwidth or fine tune it with control on the PC or command on the Mac and use the mouse wheel. And that'll fine tune the bandwidth up or down. And then delete it, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, just like that. So that's pretty much it. Those are the advanced controls with ReEQ in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.